What's up? You know what day it is. You know what fucking day it is. Another video. Like so. <laughs> yes, and today I'm here with a new game that's just been released. Uh, uh, yeah. Called The First Descendant. If I'm saying that right, dear God. It's a free-to-play game. It's like a looter shooter, but it's a PvE. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put my thoughts out there on it. And I'm going to tell you some true facts, you know, as well. And maybe some brutal honesty. Now, this game, um, I've played just about half an hour of it. You know, and I wanted to make this video so quick because it is my birthday today as well. Yes, it's my birthday. I don't know when this will be up. This might be up the next day. So, yeah. <laughs> or it might be up the same day. I don't know. But it is my birthday. And this released on my birthday. And I thought, you know what? I'll do a bit of change this year. I'll play this new game. Because it's not a PV fucking P game. So, the cutscenes and everything is beautiful in this. Um, now, I'm going to get down to it. Because there is a lot of videos already out there. Because you played the beta and stuff like that. And I need to put my thoughts out on that, on that too. So, without further ado. I know I do Monster Hunter. I know I do movie reviews. But today, this because this might be another game added to the list. Uh, first off, the positives. It's beautiful. It, the gameplay, for me, was is so smooth. It's so smooth. It's so fastly paced because there's a certain timer you have to do it in. And then there's attempts, which you'll see in some gameplay as well. Um, I like how you just... Come into this and you see loads of names. It is. Uh, of people logging in and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, that's a really summary of it. I'm not going to get to the story and everything because you'll know that by now. Um, but um, it is a lot to bring in to think about, you know. Now, I know there's some sexy characters and stuff like that too, which is a big fucking bo Oh my god, there's so many fucking clones. <laughs> Next minute I'll be getting stuff. <laughs> you know. So as you see here, this is the menu and that. I love this. Stuff like that. I love how it the loadout is. And I kind of want to put my two cents on something else. Because as you see at the top, you're like, oh, you know, say about, say about them. It's a free-to-play game. They're going to put microtransactions in as much as they want, okay? But you don't have to buy them. I'm telling you this now. You don't have to buy them to play this game, to take advantage of this game. I've completed some few levels without not buying anything, okay? And you'll see here too, you know... Um, I want to look around the scenery as well. It is beautiful and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. So, I want to get down to it. Um, the microtransaction situation. Because I've talked about this in the past. But the difference is, that was a paid game. That was a full price paid game. This is free to play. You don't have to buy anything. In this game. You don't. You go through a tutorial. It's just a short brief tutorial. On how to play. You know your character and stuff. It's not majorly too long. Which I think is a big bonus. As well. Um, I really do believe. This could be a next shooter. Now. The negatives. I'm going to get. And I want to switch over. Yeah, see, you level up as well, so... Now the negatives of this. Online. 
I know it's free to play, it's going to be an online game, I just wish there was an offline mode, but I totally understand, like, I totally understand why they've done it, you know, um, as well, because <laughs> if you see the shop and everything, there's a lot to buy, like, there's a lot to buy, a lot to choose from, from your character, or... You know, in general. So, to me, I thought, well, the microtransactions and everything is just kind of a side thing. Because you don't have to buy it. It's just, I felt like, I hate to tell you this, but Fortnite, like you're buying skins and that. Just to, just to pull over so you look nice. You know, it's just like that. You know, just that it's got more detail. You know, that's clearly just an example just to tell you, you know. Now, another negative is people's complaining about too many microtransactions. Well, them Americans are stupid because it's a free-to-play game. These free-to-play games will cost you more than an actual game what you buy at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it does, because the more content they bring out and the passes, you know, they need the money. They need the money from this game, and they will get the money. I, I guarantee you that, you know, they will get it. Now, I'm going to put a few negative predictions, because people's played the beta. Like, they could play 70 hours, 80 hours, 100 hours in this. And I, I cannot stand these people. Because they'll come out and say, it, It's grindy. It's so grindy. It's like Warframe and De De Destiny. I don't see any Destiny vibes in this. I've never even played Destiny. I've watched them. I've watched the gameplay, obviously. I don't get it. And Warframe, I really don't get that too. I get it with the theme, maybe. But it's not a rip-off or anything like that. I just think game in itself. You can kind of predict... Where everybody goes with it every time there's a game like this. Like, oh, the microtransactions is too big. Too expensive. <laughs> it's a free-to-play game. They're going to put a pile of microtransactions in. It's 2024. If it was a paid game, however, you know, like what I've rented in the past, then it'd be a total, total different situation altogether. And like I said, prediction is people's going to say it's too grindy. I don't like the word grindy. I cannot stand uh, the word grindy. I've explained why. You know, you don't have to grind in games. I mean, this is, it's just makes me want to puke. It's so fucking cringy. My fucking God, I just, oh, I just want to have fun. And this is a fun game. This is actually a fun game to play with your friends and also solo, because the pacing, you have to keep the pacing up because there's a time limit, you know. And I actually like that, you know, in some case. You know, I get a bit lost here, but I wanted to see the surroundings. But um, I kind of like, like this because it, you just feel, you feel something different. And I don't really like a lot of online games, you know, due to the fact that they're having an internet connection. And I still think there should be an offline mode. But me, like, so, there's a battle pass and everything. I mean, I could play PvE in the battle pass, you know, because you're not going against sweats. You're not going against anything. But the problem is with me, the reason why I stopped Helldivers 2, and I love Helldivers... Is people. Like I said. And this is why I might get into another separate feature. Feet, uh, I can't speak right. <laughs> Video. <laughs> you know. A very deep dive. In it. Because I do believe. 
a lot of gaming today has changed because of people and the companies are just like you know what just put that out there you know now and that's why people's putting videos thumbnails out saying i've played this this is what i think and they'll tell you saying oh it's very grindy oh in 2024 we still doing this fucking shit like come on no wonder people are just like giving up on shit and just trying it themselves do you know what i mean um and this is what brings me down to it gaming in general you know if you enjoy gaming i don't see why you have to grind to be the best in the world uh, i can't sleep i have to sit in my fat chair with doritos and not feel the air maybe have an air conditioning on for my sweaty balls <laughs> Because that's the definition right now I can feel from this people with this game. Now, don't get me wrong. If you don't like some of the stuff in the game, that's totally fine. But I'm just predicting what people are going to say in the videos, okay? And I'm not going to be fucking wrong about it. I'm not going to be fucking wrong about it, am I? It's all the same bullshit. It's 2024 and you still listen to these people? Come on now. Unless you one of them, then I totally understand, you know. But you know, the most offensive thing to these people when it comes to games like this is fresh air. Oh my god, he said an offensive word. You know, because if they go outside in the fresh air, they'll be like vampires and turn to dust. <laughs> I didn't expect saying that. But, you know, everybody, half people are snowflake these days and just, oh, come on. Just enjoy. They do the same as Monster Hunter. Like, come on. Why do you have to be best and say, I'm the best in the world? No, you're not. <laughs> you just need to tell them, say, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you know. My point behind this, and because it's my birthday as well, I'm just having a bit of fun. But there, see, there's a leveling system. Y you know, there's loads, there's all sorts in this game. <laughs> but my point is, you can predict what people's going to say. It's getting too predictable. Why can we not just enjoy games as it is? Games are getting higher. Yes, I still am skeptical with the online stuff. That's why I was skeptical with this. But if they carry on like this, this could be a, a game that we could look at, like Warframe and Fortnite. And you know, I know Fortnite changed to overly toxic Americans as well with cheaters and stuff like that. That's why I don't like PvP. If you wanna know why, because you know, people ruin the game for you you sorry i'm just belching so bad <laughs> you know and people ruin the game for you and this is what they'll do they'll be sweaty they were so sweaty in hell divers too i was going with random groups and i was barely doing anything i'm saying well i'm not shooting barely anything because you're going around like fucking like shit you know and they'll do the same with this you won't even get a chance to shoot anything or nothing like that and have some fun because you are in with a bunch of fucking sweats. What's played over 100 hours on the fucking beta or some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if, if as a beginner, like because I you know I'm a beginner here, have fun. Don't worry about what other people think of how you play in everything. I know this might be too late now because it might be thousands playing it, but just a message from me, because this part, I love this part too. Um, just play for fun, have fun. 
in 2024, we haven't had the games that we suspect because there was a lot cancelled and stuff like that. And this one came out the blue for me, you know. And I know people's got to say it's a rinse and repeat, it's grindy and all that. Check their stats. I guarantee 150 hours in this straight with no fresh air, nothing at all, like so. And they'll make a video about it. And not, no, because it's their job, you know, like so, and being put on a pedestal, it's just straight out, you know, the same shit from people. It's the same shit. Just enjoy the game. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the experience. I think, and if you want to buy the pass, if you want to buy, you know, stuff, do it. If you don't, don't. I haven't yet when I've made this and still playing, you know, yes, I'm still going to play this. I actually enjoy it. It's fun. It's it's a kind of fun game to play for me. And I actually like it, you know, and it's stuff like this that gets things ruined, like Helldivers 2, you know, I know there was a lot more to it, but the people I was in with Random Hunts did just sweaty and I was running around the map doing nothing because all the monsters, alien monsters and all the shit was dead, you know, like so. That's why I'm looking for, forward to Star, Starship Troopers, that, that game. I'm looking forward to that game because I know there's about 12 people, 24 is it? I'm not sure. So it's a big opportunity for people to be part of everything, you know. That's what my situation is in these games in this year. You could predict the videos. People's already comparing to Destiny and Warframe. I'm saying, what are you fucking doing? The game's not even out yet. These Americans are just stupid they're stupid and they're getting money of it because you watching them like so but the point I'm making is because this is about the game and it's my birthday and I don't want to rant on too much <laughs> I want to enjoy my birthday the point is I am enjoying the new concept of the game why does everybody have to be top-notch all the time. Why can we not just be, you know, chill out? We've got this game. We blessed with this game. It's working great. There's a fucking Panda Avenger head skin. <laughs> you know, um, if you want to buy microtransactions, I ain't stopping you because this is a free game. It's a free game. There's a battle pass. As well, there's a battle pass for this situation, you know. There's this stuff. This is the shop I'm showing you. Like, it, it, there's so much. They've been prepared because you know there's gonna be a lot of people playing this. There is a lot of people gonna play this game, and I don't blame them because it's smooth, it's great, and we have some sexy characters. You know what we are. <laughs> And there's some badass ones too, you know. And the thing is, you can do private hunts. You can't do it while you're in the whole thing. But when you choose a mission, you can be in private hunts. There's difficulties, normal and hard. There's no easy. There's no easy. So you're in for a treat. And then you can just explore. I like this exploring, this massive, huge exploring. They've really put the effort into this game. And for free to play and you don't have to buy anything. You don't have to buy anything. You could just play it. It's great. You know. I just wish there was an offline mode. But I totally understand. It's 2024. You're going to get games like this. Is it going to die? People's making videos saying is it going to die? And I'm like. It hasn't even been released yet. Why? Because he played 70 fucking hours of fucking 80 hours on the fucking beta. It's not a thing 
to listen to. Don't listen to those people. Enjoy the gaming experience. I would. I would. Don't listen to anybody else. Hell, if you don't want to listen to this video, that's fine. Just go with your own fun. And if you do like grindy stuff and that, yeah, I don't like the word. I don't like to do it. I just like to learn the basics and go from there. I don't know how good I'm at the game. I don't care how bad I'm at the game. I'm just there to enjoy it. And if people said, oh, you trash, oh, this, all oh, this, oh, you know, like that, don't listen to them. I've said this on the Monster Hunter video. Don't listen to them. They just, they just sweat the fucking balls off, like so, and don't have fresh air. You know, they don't, you don't touch grass. Don't be intimidated by them, okay? Let them do what they want to do. Let us do what we want to do. It's just that simple. But the problem is people try to control people when it's games like this. And this is what ruins crossplay. It ruins a lot of stuff because crossplay was a wonderful thing to be in games, to play with your buddies on different platforms. That's why people mention it. But I dread it. I fucking dread this shit, you know, because the overly toxic shit. It's weird that I'm having fucking clones in the lobby, but they're in the same mind as me. Characters are sexy, you know, sign me up, you know. <laughs> but that's my whole point on this. I don't want to write on too much. I want to enjoy my birthday, but I just want to put my two cents out there. Why you should play this for fun, you know, because as people, I know when this video goes up, I'm going to predict this now. When this video goes up, there's going to be a f at least one video saying the grind, the grindy, it's exhaustion, it's boring, don't play it. <laughs> 15 things to not do, 15 things to do, what you must do in the game. I'm sorry, don't control me how to play the game. I'm willing to learn. But if you're trying to say, you must do this, you must do that, you must do this, and you don't have to, just have fun. Just have fun. Don't listen to these people. Because this is why everybody wants to be OP. Everybody, you know, and it's boring. That's actually boring. And in fact, that's what really makes you just stand there in a public game, do nothing, and they do the work. And they will point the finger and say, well, you didn't do anything. And I'm like, come on now. Come on now, really? I'm just standing here. I've got the quest done and I'm doing nothing because you're doing half the shit. <laughs> it is. And this is what this game will turn to. Because gaming today isn't dying. It's just changing. And it's everybody, it's a competition now. That's why I play a lot solo. I don't play with a lot of people now. I play with random sometimes Monster Hunter because I want a good fucking laugh of the sweaty ball shit. <laughs> you know? But they're gonna be the same way. I can predict this now. By the time this video goes up, I guarantee you, you're gonna see a thumbnail saying why you shouldn't play this game because it's too grindy, you know, <laughs> microtransactions, it's too expensive, too much in the shop, you know, it's a pay to win situation and all this kind. I can predict it. By the time this video goes up, I guarantee you, <laughs> I guarantee you straight from the bat. Watch. Watch. And yes, when I saw this part, I said, I oh, know, I'm gonna skip this part. And then she just disappears. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> same as every woman in my life. <laughs> just bad. <laughs> oh, I know that's a bad joke, but I do that. But the point is, have fun. Don't listen to these people. Just have fun 
with games like this. Let me know how you feel about the game in general. Um, do you think they should add stuff? Because I think this could be really big. You see something to the left. You see something to the right. Oh, they're going to get it on. They're going to get it on. Not. Bye.